Believe it or not, this was supposed to be edible. Pretty nasty, huh? But I wouldn't take whole credit for myself. And then I followed the instruction in the cooking book very carefully. But I think the reason for my failure was due to the fact that there was an absence of connectors between the staff in the cooking book. Which made it very hard for me to follow the instruction when I'm doing cooking at once. And the result? It's funny, you know, in the IELTS writing test one process, you are required to write an instruction about uh, like cooking book, maybe this and that, and this and those. Basically, you have to write an instruction for making something. And you, I mean your text, is required to be coherent, which is connected. It means that there should be something between your sentences, between your ideas, to link them together, in order for the reader to read it easily and to avoid catastrophe. Well, this is what we're gonna learn today. Today, we're gonna focus on something that makes our text connected. Hi there, you learn the IELTS or learn the shame? And today, we're gonna carry on learning how to write IELTS writing task one process. Our main focus today is to make our text coherent, which is very important. I mean, coherent and cohesion is one of the criteria according to which our text will be marked. So, well, it's very important. That's why in this topic, we will spend up to five videos learning how to make our text connected using from grammar to idea to different things. And today, we're gonna learn something very easy. Continuity adverb. Continuity adverb is quite easy, actually. I mean, in order to master conjunctive adverb, we just have to focus on three main contents. First, we're gonna look at a bunch of conjunctive adverb and find out when to use it. After we find out when to use it, we're gonna learn how to use it and after that, we're gonna put them into practice. And these are the things we're gonna learn today. Now, let's get down to business. Yo, in front of you now are a relatively small repertoire of words and phrases that can art as in conjunctive adverb. They are organized in a visual order and I need you to do one thing for me. You see, now we have three groups. The first group is for the adverbs that can be used to indicate that this is the first step. And the second one is for, you know, the next steps. And the last one, of course, for the last steps. For example, I see the word first of all, and I know that when I see the word first of all, I am supposed to read something first. That's why I'm gonna put first of all into the first column. And then I see the word next. Okay, whenever I see the word next, I know that this is the next step. That's why I'm gonna put them into the second column. And I see finally, finally for the last step. Okay, likewise, I will put them into the last column. Now, I think you should pause and then do your things. Well, of course, you can continue watching and I'll give you the whole answer, but I think it's better if you pause and then do the thing yourself. Up to you. And now, the answer. Enjoy. Oh, this time, I think you really need to pause it and write it down on a notebook or piece of paper or whatever or, or just take a picture, bring screen and then, you know, crop it, copy it, save it. And that is when to use it. Now, the question is how to use it? Well, even easier. Very easy guy, first you have to know that which adverb, which conjunctive adverb you want to use. For example, this is the first step, you are about to write the first step, so you're gonna use the conjunctive adverb in the first column. However, this is the next step, choose the conjunctive adverb in the second column. Now, for example, I want to use the word after that. I have to make sure that before my after that is a sentence, and a complete sentence, huh? and after my conjunctive adverb is another sentence. That's the first thing. Now, the second thing is to make sure that before the continuous adverb is a period, dot, and after that is a comma. And that's it. Easy, right? Oh, one more thing. 
Um, if the sentence before my conjunctive adverb is cut or short, I can replace the period with a semicolon. Yeah, that's pretty much how to use it. Now we know when to use it, we know how to use it, but practice. Now let's do this exercise, shall we? Infer you are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A sentences. And again, it is organized in an arbitrary order. You have to do two things. First, you have to reorder it. Reorder it, I mean you have to read it on and then you have to decide whether this one is the first step, whether this one the next step, this one the last step. For example, I think A is the first step, so I put A onto here. And then I think B is the next step, then I will put B onto that. Okay, that's the first thing you have to do. Reorder them. After finishing reordering them, you have to do one more thing. You have to insert the conjunctive adverb, the appropriate conjunctive adverb that we have just learned in the previous section. For example, A is the first step, so I will put to begin with before A. To begin with, comma A. And then B is the next step, so I will put the period right here. And then after that, and then comma, and then B. All right, and then go on, go on, go on, and go on. Then after you finish the last sentence, you will have yourself a full report. A word of advice, if you haven't watched the video instructing you how to do the instruction, how to do the overview, how to write the sentences in the body, I think you should go to the description and check for the link instructing you how to do it. Since this one is a series, so it's the best that you watch it in order. Now last question, after I finish the exercise, what should I do in you know, order to practice it? Very easy guys, well the easiest way of course you can write it down and learn it by heart, though I wouldn't think it of much help. Instead I think you should go to the description, download all of the processed IELTS writing task 1 test, and then you write yourself for report. After that you want to make sure that you write a right report then put them in the comment i will look it up for you and that's the end of this video we have learned conjunctive adverb when to use it how to use it and put them into practice in the next video we will be carrying on learning how to write out writing task one process how to make it coherent but this time we're gonna learn how to use conjunction and well i think it may have a little bit of effect good effect on your grammatical range and accuracy of the IELTS writing test, of course. Well, thank you for today. Enjoy. Oh, forget any questions, put them in the comment. I will answer you. I will try to answer you. Try my best to answer you. And um, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bye.